Greetings. In this tutorial, we'll cover 10 key new workflow features added to FL Studio 20.7.2 and 20.7.1. Apparently, I forgot to make a video. So keep an eye down here to see what version a features from. First up, channel groups. You've all been in the situation where you're clicking around in the playlist and your carefully set channel group changes. You can prevent this by deselecting the channel rack menu option auto switch display filter. Excellent. While we're in the playlist, there's a new option to preserve trim edits when changing clip sources. The clip menu, select source channel, allows you to change the source of any clip. Useful for swapping in vocal takes, for example. When I do that here, the clip now starts from the beginning, losing my trim point. If I undo that, but this time hold shift, when I select the replacement, notice the new clip preserves the same trim position. Perfect. Control hints. We've extended hinting control values to most locations now in FL Studio. Let's compare mousing over channel settings in 20.7.1 left and 20.7.2 right. Great. MIDI scripting. FL Studio 20.7 introduced MIDI scripting that allows custom Python coding for MIDI controllers to access FL Studio features and functions. Our team have been hard at work adding new functions to the scripting API, and our team and customers now have a thriving MIDI scripting forum with new controller scripts being added on a daily basis. Great, so head over to the forums and check it out. MIDI import. We heard a few of you were annoyed by the MIDI import dialog popping up when you're dragging and dropping MIDI files on the channel rack. Now you can hold shift to prevent the pop-up or even alt to force open it. Fade to grey, cool. Ever been surprised by an oversized FLP project when you go to save? 27 meg? A common cause is instances of Edison in the project saved with the FLP. As Edison can contain audio data, projects can quickly bloat. Finding and removing all the Edison instances can be a chore. So now you can remove them with the macro, remove all Edison instances. Eight hundred K, much better. Flex. You can now hold Control plus the up and down arrow keyboard shortcuts to directly load previous and next presets. And even better, we've added the standard patch display and selector on the wrapper. Selecting all in the browser and then using the control can show over 2,000 presets now available. Nice. New time. We've added a tempo sync button to improve workflow when dragging in content without correct tempo metadata. Here I just need to select the option to auto sync it. And new tone gets the same option too. FL Studio Mobile gets the new auto pitch module and a tuner for guitars and vocals. Cool. 
for the ever popular Z-Game Editor Visualizer, we've added more parameters to existing effects. For example, the Mobius object. And you can now drop sliced audio on the video cue point window to import a list of video cues corresponding to slices in the audio. If you use the audio from a video to add the markers, then you're ready to go in sync with the visuals. And with that, I hope you enjoy FL Studio 20.7.2 just as much as we love your lifetime free updates. Mmm.